So I watched Gangster Squad the other day, and it was like... And then the main bad guy was like, I want it all, I'm so... I want everything. I want all of LA. And I was thinking, if LA was a piece of cake, he'd be like... <coughs> and then the main character, if he was a baker, he'd be like, stop eating all the cakes. We need the cakes for the young people. The young people, the future of cake making, they need the cake. And the bad guy was like, no, I want to eat all the cake. And, and then you get a geeky guy who's like the best baker in the world. And he's like, I made the best cakes in the world. And then the, the, it was a good film. Um, yeah. And then you had like Emma Stone. She's, sexy, she's hot, she's fit, but she's also attractive. Yeah. Megan Fox, for instance, she's sexy, hot, fit, but that's about it, really. She's kind of all that. Like, I think it's something about Emma Stone's voice, it's sort of a bit deeper, she seems a bit more intellectual, um, the films she does are better. I mean, Transformers is just... And, um... I reckon if you went on a date with Emma Stone, you'd have a conversation. She'd be like, I wish, I wish I'd had the part in, um... In The Great Gatsby, I think it's a it's a piece of brilliant American literature, something that I can really blah 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 blah. And then if you had a date with Emma Stone, I can imagine there would be like an entourage of huge bodyguards like standing behind, and and he'd be like, the bodyguards would be like, look at that ass, and he'd be like, I'm just trying to have a conversation, and he'd be like, look at that ass. Like if you go on a date with Megan Fox, you gotta look at the ass, and she kind of stands up. So you have to look at the arse, and then you're like, this is... Because it's all about her arse. If you went went on a date with her, it would be about the arse. Emma Stone, it would be about... It would be about things, you know? Things. Attractiveness. Hmm. Something to think about. Ryan Gosling's kind of like the Emma Stone equivalent... So if Emma Stone drew all the the guys to the film, uh, well, I mean, obviously all the gunfighting and the cool, gritty storyline. The cool, cool, gritty storyline kind of drew all the the men. The, the Emma Stone drew all the boys. And then um, Ryan Gosling got the women, I think. Because I wonder if Ryan Gosling is a better-looking man than Emma Stone is a woman. I'll never know because I'm not bisexual, but it's a, it's, it's a thought-provoking comment, I think. From a, a genuine film review point of view, I think the first half's really compelling, and then I think the second half's just like... <laughs> but saying that, it still has like a good resolution and stuff. But there is just a little bit of like a, a montage of bullets in the second half. And like no one's very good at aiming either. They all just sort of like, they got these Tommy guns. And obviously, because I suppose it was like 60 years ago. And so bullets weren't as developed as they are now. But they just, they don't hit people. Um... I could say an insensitive joke about um, gun crime in America today, but maybe I shouldn't. I mean, if people used older weapons, then less children would die. Um, anyway, so I thoroughly advise you to watch this film. I don't know why I use that word particularly. But it's a good film. Emma Stone's attractive. Ryan Gosling's more guzzling. Ryan Gosling, is that, I, I don't even know his name anymore, it's lost meaning, but um, he's even more attractive than Emma Stone if you're a woman or a gay person than if you were a straight person looking at, em, well, a straight man looking at Emma Stone. 
and then uh, the action in it's good. The main bad guy is like he's, uh, and his muscles are all like, uh, uh, uh. Um, you'll see what I mean. And he doesn't actually eat lots of cake, but well, he might do. <laughs>